Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit Malta, the hidden gem in the Mediterranean? This remarkable island nation is a treasure trove of rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning landscapes. From the prehistoric temples that predate the pyramids of Egypt, to the buzzing nightlife in Paceville, Malta is a captivating blend of old and new. Picture this, medieval walled cities, breathtaking coastal cliffs, and turquoise blue waters that will leave you spellbound. And that's not all. We will be diving into the top 10 places that bring Malta's beauty to the forefront. From the awe-inspiring Blue Grotto and the ancient fort of St. Elmo, to the tranquil island of Gozo and the bustling capital city Valletta, there's so much to explore. This journey will take us through time, celebrating Malta's unique heritage and its irresistible charm. So, are you ready to embark on this journey and explore the top 10 places in Malta? Starting our countdown at number 10, we dive into the Blue Grotto. This captivating natural formation, nestled on the southern coast of Malta, is a spectacle that leaves many breathless. The clear azure waters, shimmering under the Mediterranean sun, offer an extraordinary spectacle of light and color. The Blue Grotto's network of six caves, each with its unique charm, invites explorers to marvel at the underwater flora and fauna. The thrilling boat rides, a popular way to explore the caves, take visitors on a journey through the crystal clear waters. The boats navigate through the caves, allowing you to witness the stunning play of light on the water's surface. The experience is mystical, like a journey through an otherworldly realm. The Blue Grotto, with its serene ambiance and stunning natural beauty, is not just a place, it's an experience that becomes a part of you. A visit to the Blue Grotto is a refreshing start to our Maltese adventure. At number 9 we step into the past at Fort St. Elmo. This star-shaped fortress perched at the tip of Valletta's peninsula is a testament to Malta's robust history. Built in the 16th century, Fort St. Elmo bravely bore the brunt of the Great Siege of 1565, when the Knights of Malta held their ground against the mighty Ottoman Empire. The fort's stubborn resistance became a symbol of national pride and resilience. Today, the fort's ancient walls house the National War Museum. Here, you'll find an impressive collection of artifacts tracing Malta's military history from the Bronze Age to modern times. Breathe in the echoes of the past as you wander through exhibits showcasing everything from prehistoric weapons to W-2 fighter planes. Fort St. Elmo is much more than a fortress, it's a living, breathing piece of Maltese history. A visit here is a journey through time, a glimpse into the soul of Malta. Fort St. Elmo, where history meets the present. Our number 8 brings us to the charming fishing village of Marsaxlok. As the sun begins to rise, the village comes alive. Nestled on the southeastern coast of Malta, Marsaxlok is home to a vibrant Sunday fish market that's a magnet for locals and tourists alike. Picture yourself wandering through stalls brimming with freshly caught fish, while the air is filled with a blend of the sea's freshness and the sizzling aroma of local dishes. And as you stroll along the waterfront your eyes are treated to a spectacle of color, Traditional Maltese fishing boats known as Luzus, painted in bright shades of blue, red, and yellow, bob gently in the harbor. Each boat carries the mythical eye of Osiris, believed to protect the fishermen from harm. But Marzaxlok isn't just about the visual feast, it's a culinary paradise. The village is famous for its seafood restaurants, where you can indulge in the catch of the day, cooked to perfection in traditional Maltese style. Marzaxlok, a feast for both the eyes and the palate. At number 7 we delve into the mysterious Hippogeum. Let's journey together into the subterranean depths of this unique prehistoric site. The Hippogeum, or the Hal Safliani Hippogeum, is more than just a relic of the past. It's a silent narrator of Malta's ancient history. Carved out of limestone more than 5,000 years ago it is a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. This labyrinth of underground chambers served as a sanctuary and a burial site, with remains of over 7,000 individuals discovered here. Each artifact, each bone, each carving tells a story. A story of a civilization lost in time, of rituals and rites, of life and death. The Hippogeum is not just an archaeological marvel, but a journey back to a time when mankind was just beginning to understand the world around them. The Hippogeum, a journey back in time. A place where the past whispers its secrets to those who dare to listen. At number 6 we walk the silent streets of Medina. Stepping into Medina is like stepping back in time. This ancient city, once the capital of Malta, has a rich history that dates back more than 4,000 years. 
It's a place where every stone tells a story, every corner holds a secret. The stunning architecture, a harmonious blend of medieval and Baroque styles, is a testament to the city's illustrious past. It's not just the buildings that captivate, but also the enchanting ambiance that pervades the narrow, winding streets. From the city walls you can feast your eyes on panoramic views of the Maltese islands. As you gaze out over the landscape, you'll feel as if you're standing on the edge of time, looking out onto a world that has changed, yet somehow remained the same. Medina, the silent city that speaks volumes. Halfway through our countdown at number 5 we sail to the island of Gozo. This charming nook of the Mediterranean, a sister island of Malta, is a rustic gem waiting to be discovered. Gozo's allure lies in its tranquility, with its rolling hills and quiet villages offering a retreat from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Here, time seems to slow down, allowing you to breathe and take in the spectacular views. One of the island's most iconic features was the Azure Window, a natural limestone arch that served as a backdrop for many a film and TV show. Although it collapsed in 2017, its memory remains etched in the hearts of many, making it a must-mention. But what truly makes Gozo stand out are the ancient Gantia temples. These prehistoric structures, older than the pyramids of Egypt, hold tales of a civilization long past, adding a touch of mystery to Gozo's allure. Gozo, an island paradise. At number 4, we step into the magnificent St. John's Co-Cathedral. This splendid structure, nestled in the heart of Malta's capital city Valletta, is a grand testament to the Baroque era. It's a stunning spectacle, with every inch resplendent in ornate gold-gilded detail. Truly St. John's Co-Cathedral is a Baroque masterpiece, a feast for the eyes, but the cathedral's beauty extends beyond its architecture. It has a rich history serving as the spiritual home of the Knights of Malta, the legendary order of warrior monks. Their influence on the island is still palpable today, with the cathedral standing as a testament to their legacy. Within the cathedral's hallowed halls, you'll find the impressive works of the famous artist Caravaggio. His paintings, including the renowned beheading of St. John the Baptist, add to the cathedral's allure, bringing together art, history, and spirituality in one breathtaking space. St. John's Co-Cathedral, a masterpiece of Baroque art. At number three, we explore the enchanting three cities. Steeped in history and brimming with charm, the three cities, Birgu, Senglea, and Kospikua, offer a captivating glimpse into traditional Maltese life. These cities whisper tales of the past, their narrative deeply intertwined with the Knights of St. John, who laid the groundwork for their rich cultural heritage. Imagine walking along the beautiful harbors, where yachts sway gently against the backdrop of honey-colored buildings. Picture the sun-kissed streets lined with old palaces and fortified walls, each corner echoing with centuries-old stories. The meandering lanes, the vibrant local markets, the quietude of the evening, all weave a unique tapestry that is quintessentially Maltese. Yet these cities are not stuck in time. They pulse with life, a wonderful blend of the traditional and the modern. Here you'll find age-old customs coexisting with contemporary cafes and art galleries creating a fascinating fusion where old meets new. The three cities where old meets new. Almost at the top at number two we wander the narrow streets of Valletta. This city, with its unique blend of history and culture, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Just one glance at its stunning architecture and you'll understand why. Each building tells a story, with the Baroque style dominating, reflecting the grandeur of Malta's past. But Valletta isn't just a relic of history, it's a living, breathing city, pulsating with life. As the sun sets, the city transforms, revealing a vibrant nightlife. The streets fill with laughter and music, as locals and visitors alike flock to the bars and restaurants. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or someone who loves to party, Valletta has something for you. You can explore the city's rich history by day and then dance the night away under the stars. So don't just visit Malta, experience it. Valletta, a city that never sleeps. Finally, at number one, we bask in the sun at Camino and the Blue Lagoon. This slice of paradise is the epitome of idyllic beauty. Picture yourself immersed in crystal clear waters, so transparent that you can see your toes wiggling in the sand beneath. If you're a fan of the underwater world, these waters are a treasure trove for snorkeling. With a kaleidoscope of marine life it's like swimming in a living aquarium. Imagine lazing on the beach, the sun's rays gently warming your skin as the soothing sound of gentle waves lapping against the shore fills your ears. The tranquility here is unparalleled. 
It's a place where time slows down, where stress melts away, replaced by the pure, unadulterated joy of being at one with nature. Whether you're an adventurer, a sun worshiper, or simply someone seeking serenity, Comino and the Blue Lagoon caters to all. Comino and the Blue Lagoon, the crown jewel of Malta. And there you have it, the top 10 places you must visit in Malta. From the beguiling depths of the Blue Grotto to the imposing ramparts of Fort St. Elmo, each site offers its own unique allure, the vibrant marketplace of Marsaxlok, the ancient underground chambers of the Hippogeum, and the silent city of Medina, all narrate tales of a rich and varied past. On the island of Gozo, find tranquility and stunning landscapes. In contrast, St. John's Co Cathedral in Valletta boasts ornate Baroque architecture and a wealth of religious art. The three cities offer a glimpse into Malta's maritime history, while Valletta, the bustling capital, is a world heritage site teeming with culture and grandeur. Finally, the island of Camino and its Blue Lagoon, with their turquoise waters and serene beauty, make for an idyllic retreat. So pack your bags, Malta is waiting to charm you with its beauty and history. Until next time, happy travels. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your ideas. We'd love to hear from you.